People in the most remote areas of the world tend to have the smallest environmental footprint. Yet, the same people are experiencing the biggest effects of climate change. In Greenland, small and often indigenous settlements have been forced to adapt already. What will happen as the glaciers keep melting? And what can we learn from their relationship to nature? Greenlanders have always been adaptable. They have to be, otherwise they wouldn't have been able to survive this long. But nowadays, as humans for the first time in history are the ones forcing that change, it's not a matter of natural adaption anymore. Greenland ice is melting. We know that. What I didn't know and wanted to find out was what that actually means to the people living amongst the ice. How have you been forced to adapt to that? I mean, we have to adapt all the time, especially for the knowledge from the past, from our ancestors. It's not so, it's still useful, but we have to adapt to now yeah. to change everything, what we do, yeah. what they usually do. So. And what do you think will happen within the next decade? Uh, I cannot imagine. If this keep going, climate change, it will be completely different. Mm. But the Inuit have been here so long time and they adapt to mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same. Knowledge of the past. One of the most important legacies for the Inuit. What happens to them when that old, valuable knowledge is lost to climate change and global industries force them to live differently? When the stories that are traditionally passed down from generation to generation become irrelevant? As Julia said, they are nothing without their ancestral wisdom. That wisdom has made them survive in some of the harshest conditions of the world for many, many centuries. Do you think the species seal will eventually disappear from here because of the temperatures in the water changing? So? They like us. I mean, <laughs> no, they know how to survive. They will adapt. But not so it will be same place, but in other places. Uh, probably longer up the north. So will you follow them, you think? So we have to. They are the most important food we have. Yeah. We have to. Julius moves on to explain that as the fjords stop freezing, the hunting grounds will become harder and sometimes impossible to reach. Meaning they can't rely on dog sleds as transportation, as they always have before. Hunting by dog sled is the most important way to fund hunting by boat, that is becoming increasingly more crucial as the ice disappear. None of these means of transportation can exist without the other, meaning hunting, the most important source of food and income could become entirely unavailable. Not to mention, the breeding grounds for the prey disappear, leading them to move north. And even though Greenlanders are experts at adaption, should they have to eventually leave their homes to follow the food? <laughs> Seeing, learning, and understanding why and how Greenlanders hunt and fish has taught me an important lesson about living in symbiosis with the animals and with nature, and how important that is for the survival of planet Earth humankind and biodiversity. It is more sustainable in every single aspect to catch wild animals in their natural habitat 
And most importantly, don't take more than what is needed. 